I have been told that the Portuguese, AKA Catholics, built this monument. And if you notice, this is a map of the Republic of Benin in the middle, and then you have a cross that is on the other side of it. Now, the irony of this is that what most, when it comes to the history being told, most people don't know that the Catholic Church, they were the ones who authorized the start of the West African transatlantic European slave trade uh, by way of Pope Nicholas V, the Dumps de Versus, giving King Alfonso V of Portugal the authority to start what led to the death of tens of millions of people, the culture erasure, the um, spiritual erasure, so many different things that we deal with today at the hands of, admittedly, at the hands of the Catholic Church. Every, you come here in West Africa, you see this, this image of this false white Jesus everywhere, and you wonder why, how in the world can this white Jesus be in this brown part of the world, and nobody even questions it. And so it goes to show the, the effectiveness of toxic religion and what it can do to people if they're not aware. So you see a cross in the middle, people don't question it. They think that means Jesus. When in actuality, when you look at what the scriptures say, who comes to steal, kill, and destroy? That was the description of Satan. That's what the scriptures say. So, when you look at the history, the truth of the history, who came to West Africa to steal, kill, and destroy? The Catholic Church, the French, the Dutch, the British, the Danish, the Danes, the Germans. But yet, we still hightail ourselves right over to those places and still put them on a pedal uh, of supremacy. The more you know, the more you realize and the more that you begin to dig deeper. When you start to dig deeper and get into this history and discover the lies that you and I have been told, it makes you begin to question everything and it makes you begin to assess the foundation that your beliefs have been laid on, you know, your culture has been laid on and so now Many people are waking up and they're saying, nah, I'm not going for this anymore. And they're coming to see for themselves. They're waking up and they're seeing for themselves. And that's really one of the most liberating things you can ever do. And I hope that you have that experience for yourself.